Do you know, dear teacher, that no child is a dullard unless a child has mental challenge? If the child in your class doesn't have mental challenge and you have tried or your level best to make a child pick up academically and it's not picking up, then something is wrong. Once the child is not mentally challenged in any way, if the child doesn't have Down syndrome, the child doesn't have uh, some imbecile, okay, the child can answer to simple, uh, give answer to, to simple questions, then the child has a very full potential to be brilliant. Now, what could be the reason why the child is not doing well academically? Well, I want to tell you that for a child to pick up academically, for the child to perform excellently well, the teacher has to teach the child based on how nature, well, by nature I mean how God, excuse me, wires that child as an individual. So every child has to be taught based on how nature wires the child. For instance, there are children that anything you say, they catch it up. Either it is correct or not, it doesn't matter. And there are children that you know, whatever thing you say after a short time, they forget everything. Even within less than one minute, they forget everything. But if you can show them something based on what you are teaching, they can catch up easily. If you show them something on the topic you are teaching in the classroom, they would not forget. When you ask them questions on that topic, they show them picture on to remember virtually everything. There are other children that, no matter what you say, it's not entering their head. No matter what you show them, they are not following you at all until you make them to do something practical. Something practical, something hands-on, an activity, a dramatization or a role-playing, just something to just act out or do regarding the topic. And those children will not forget what you have taught them. And those children that are like that, that they learn, or they do not learn by listening, they do not learn by hearing, okay, but they learn by doing. They are more in numbers than the children that learn through listening. May I shock you? The least way, the least teaching process is to teach anyone through uh, speaking for that person to learn through listening. It's the least productive teaching methodology. In my next video, I'll be telling you on how on the three learner types, they are named what they are. Remember to like this video and follow our page. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.